Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new here I'm Jahan and today I'm just going to give you a chatty kind of life update just see how you are I've been offline for a little bit and I just wanted to catch up and just to give you an update whilst I do my makeup so the last month or so since December has been super just busy for me work wise and that's work wise just my actual everyday professional work as well as online and also just doing things with the children and just starting a new year a new term and I think um, the new term at school has gone very very quickly for us in the UK half term so we're super early this year which is nice for teachers and things and actually nice for us I like it when the children are home as well anyway but um, yeah it's just been really busy but it's been a really really good start to 2023 at the back end of 2023, sort of like September time, um, we removed as a family. And this is probably like a really big kind of lesson for everyone. If you want me to go into more detail about it in another video, another time, I'm more, ha more than happy to. But we removed a load of people and friends outside of our lives, out, out of our lives. And it was really, it, it happened at like the perfect time. Because since then, like literally since then, a week later, things in our lives just like sort of turned around, got really positive, um, connected with old friends again and new friends again. Um, work's been very really good. Um, my husband's been doing really well. My children are really like thriving and doing well. And I think you don't sometimes realise the negative impact that people have on your life, even if it's just seeing their name when a text pops up or their phone call pops up and you think oh what now kind of thing you don't realize the negativity that people can have and then you and then when you remove them you just you just feel lighter and you feel better and that's exactly what happened um there hasn't been a we haven't really even thought about it and we've just continued with life and things just happen and it's it's fantastic and it's also made me realize also who my really good friends are my like kind of loyal friends family friends people that we actually want around our family and yeah it's and, and that has just like snowballed into like positive attitude positive mental health um like removing th those people and has just made my mental health like 10 times better than it was before and yeah it's just nice to feel like genuinely happy genuinely like kind of just yeah it's great to wake up every day and not feel pressure or idea to perform or anything like that for anybody else i think that's a really good life lesson for everybody i'm meant to be doing my makeup but i'm completely sidetracked it's meant to be a very quick video um but it's i think it's a really good lesson for everybody to learn that um you don't need to be in around in everybody's environment and sometimes it's a good time to say goodbye and just actually say I don't want this anymore or if you're forced into that situation then just go with it cut it all out and see and just see what happens at the end of the day you're going to probably do a thousand times better than than you were before which I can test I can testify to that I'm sure some of you in the comments can also probably feel the same way work is work is fun I work in a really fun industry um I work in an industry, in, interesting industry and it's a new industry to me so I'm learning as well this year. I'm going to start off with my face. So I've already done my base, sorry. I've got my uh, moisturiser on and sunscreen already and the sunscreen I used today was... Which sunscreen did I use today? I can't remember. I think it was the Anthelios one, Anthelios today I used. So this is a kind of sort of little glow it's given me to my skin let me bring it in a little bit closer there you go and i'm going to start off my face with the elf halo glow liquid filter in this is color number four but i've also got number five as well i think number five is going to be my summer color um but i picked up number four ages ago and i think you've seen this is the one with the big fat doe foot applicator it's the dupe for the charlotte tilbury i'm still gonna this is the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury um, Glow something, you know, I can't remember, Flawless Filter, Flawless Filter. But um, yeah, this is the dupe and I like it more. 
um, because Charlotte Tilbury face and base products, they, there's something in there that breaks me out, so I can't use them. Um, but I can use her blushes and things, but I can't use them. Other, her other stuff, her actual skin stuff. So I don't know what it is, but and it's super expensive. So there you go. But um, yeah, so the beginning of this year, we've got some trips planned, which is really nice. Um, I'm using actually this new brush actually by BH because the BH Los Angeles and it's the rounded face brush which is this one I was just looking for a more kind of a densely packed brush kabuki brush but not one with a short handle and this is really lovely actually it's, it works really well it spreads the um, foundation really nicely or your base layers really nicely and it gives it nice coverage and I obviously the foundation is giving the coverage but the tools that you use can also help with the coverage and this one works really well so I'll just put that one on a very light layer I'm just getting ready to take my son to tennis so I'm not going to be putting a shed load of makeup on but I thought this is a great time just to catch up there was I so yeah work's really busy um exciting news will probably happen there in by the end of the year um YouTube has been again it's sort of sidelines I've got like a long list of videos that I want to make um and it's just because I've been busy that I haven't been able to and you guys have been so sweet there are some people that message all the time either dm me on instagram or in my community posts or on the underneath the videos and you do see the usual names and there are just some lovely people on here that are so encouraging that want you to do well and it's just it's really beautiful when you have a community like that um and there's some new new people as well that have joined since Christmas and it's just lovely to see you all here and you wonderful people have taken me to almost 500 people 500 subscribers so quickly that I just feel I f it's it and it's a, such a tiny, it's like a speck in when it comes to the YouTube world. But at the same time, it can also feel overwhelming because you just think it's just so, it's just lovely that people want to listen. They want to learn more or just chat on long line and create another community. And I have got plans of videos and lots of activity that I want to do here. I didn't expect my January. Well, I did expect because I really went into 2023 with a really positive attitude. My friend Alexandra, who you've seen on videos... Um, we both went in really feeling like this year, even if there are bumps, even if there are things going on, this year is going to be a really good year. And we both went in with that attitude because uh, 2022 for us was so like up and down, up and down, up and down that this year we just felt there was like a mental shift. And I've spoken to a few friends that are like that. Some are still like going through and those that are, I really want to help them to like push through that and just get that mental shift that they, about they, they're capable to do these things. And with the YouTube stuff, there's still so many things that I want to do um, and I have lots of plans and I want to bring out obviously Alexandra back here, but we want to evolve something to together and yeah, I think there are lots of things that I want to do here as well. And then with my actual with my family things are just going that my children are doing so well at school and um they found hobbies and things that they love and they're really talented at they've got some lovely friendships and it just feels like there's lots of things at the moment that um we're juggling which is why it's probably been a bit quiet here um but it'd be really good to know how your 2023 has started i know everybody is in a different situation and it's also interesting that to have this attitude in the middle of what is really a huge financial crisis across the world for many many people but for me just shifting my attitude towards things has really helped um and shifting my feet the way i feel about certain feelings and emotions has really helped as well um which i can go into in to another videos if you want me to talk about that or not but yeah that's been a um, big shift this year, obviously, I mentioned last year is the year that I turned 40 and I'm quite excited by that, to be honest. We've, my husband has planned, it was meant to be like a bit of a surprise, but in the end he said, look, I, this is what I want to do. Can I just show you some of the details just to make sure that I'm on the right track? Um, which I, do you know, I, I appreciate anyway, because I, if you ask any of my friends, I am just like the hostess always. I'm using 
Glossier um, Solar Paint in, what's this? Heat, so this is Heat. Um, I am kind of always a hostess and I love hosting so much and I, I throw really good parties and if I do say so myself, I think I throw really good parties anyway. My friends told me I'm for really good parties and people don't leave my house until like four o'clock in the morning, so they must be having some. So he showed me some of the plans he's got and he's planning like a really epic party with all my favorite things um, and all my favorite people around me. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then I had this kind of weight loss, fitness ch um, challenge I put myself and I'm doing actually really well. So I'm into, my second, I, I don't want to say too much, I want to get to a certain point where I, where I do kind of a bit more of a reveal and all that kind of stuff, but I'm in my second stone of loss now. Um, Christmas, I was kind of, didn't go overboard, didn't go crazy, but you know, it's Christmas. And, um, and so again, New Year, done lots of walking. I'm walking and I'm doing 10,000 steps a day. So I had a challenge back maybe in November where we would do 15,000 steps a day. 15,000 steps is a lot. And me, myself, as you know, I always say these things. I've said it a few times. I like to go all in. 15,000 steps is a lot. It's 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 a it's quite a lot, a big amount, especially if you've got a desk job or a job where you're mostly like in an office, going to meetings, that kind of thing. I have got a bit of a walk to the station, which is good. But it's, it's actually a lot and it's really, really tiring, especially if you're fitting in other things like the Skull Society and other exercises around it. It's, it's, a, it's a lot, actually. So now I've gone back to 10,000 steps, which is really more manageable. Um, I like to go on a long walk with one of my friends, um, have some nice chats. And do you know what? The slowing down, the, the kind of... Um, not. It's a, it's, at, it's at a pace, but like the, not the hard hitting exercises is doing really well on my body. And there is a reason for that, which I'm going to do another video for. I also had a health check with something called somebody called Randox, a company called Randox. And I think they are international and they did like a full panel blood work and everything and told me about how my body's working, what I need to do and all that kind of stuff. And it's really fascinating. It's really insightful. My work paid for it for all of us. And it's such a beneficial tool and the best thing about it when I do the video about it I'll, sh I'll tell you more about in detail and I'll show you just what roughly it looks like I'm not going to share all my results my personal results but you have your test one day and then six months later you do it again it's part of the package as well which is fantastic because you can just monitor how well you're doing which so it gives you that six months to, to have a have a a lifestyle change and also as part of the first call you have a call with a um scientific review where somebody will talk through all your results with you as well so it's a really kind of i've had this done with some with booper before and it wasn't as good they just give you the test and they tell you this one that the other and okay go and discuss it with your gp or go and discuss it with this person they don't really give you any full details but this randox one I think that's all they really do is just like testing and like um, like blood tests, health checks, that kind of stuff. That is incredibly thorough, and I'm really impressed with their service. The lady that took my blood was absolutely lovely. We had really good chats about lots of things, like lots of controversial things as well within health, the health industry, and it's really good to hear from her perspective. And she gave me a discount code, which I'll put in below if anybody in the UK I'm not sure I don't know if it will work internationally but anybody in the UK wants to go and get their health check you can use her code and you'll get 10% off as well um so I'll leave that below too busy chatting I've blended that already um I'm going to use this blush by um made by Mitchell this is one of the ones I showed you in a previous video around made by Mitchell I showed you some swatches I'm going to do a full swatch of my favorite blushes, lipsticks and eyeshadows that's one of my videos that are coming up and I'm just going to put this on my cheeks now. Now this, I'm, I'm going to say I am somebody, if you've seen some of the videos, I like to put my blush on my eyelids as well. I put this on my eyelids and I got a really bad reaction and I'm just saying this because this, I'm, it's not speaking badly of this product because this product is fantastic but it's not made for the eyes and it's not all products are for everywhere and although you can use makeup in multiple places on your face 
that one is obviously not for well it's not for my eyes i don't know if anybody else has ever done that before but i got these really my eyelids got these really bad um like spots over my eyes it's really itching and burning and what i did is i put some of the dr sam's lip balm on my eyelids it works very similar to similarly to an eight hour cream it just doesn't have the mineral oils and all that kind of stuff it's just lanolin and um, ceramide in there in this perfect mix so it really helped just to like heal my eyelids and make sure they weren't rough and just yeah get them back to normal they were really puffy and awful I was actually quite worried at one point um but luckily because I don't put loads and loads of things on my face I was able to pinpoint okay this is what it was this is what's called the reaction and sometimes when you're in when you do buy new products it's good to introduce them slowly or, or one at a time just so you know if you do get a reaction you know what it is especially I think with face products because we often layer things on our faces so we don't always get to see which one it could be that's causing the issue so anyway so yes I've had my health check I will do some more fitness videos and that kind of thing because I think you guys enjoy them and it motivates you my February challenge if anybody wants to join is to do 10,000 steps at least five days a week and I'm saying at least five days a week because I'm going to be realistic that some days I'm just either running around with stuff that doesn't add up to five to 10,000 steps and one day I just do want to rest my body because I think people forget how important rest is and yeah rest is the most for me the most important thing I would prioritize rest over exercise as long as my diet's doing doing well and I'm doing what I need to do in my diet then um, I would always prioritize rest over the actual physical workouts because Yes, exercise is really important for heart health and for energy and for your brain health, for just for everything, basically. Exercise is important. If I'm exhausted, I'm going to always prioritise rest first because my body doesn't do what I need to do if I haven't rested, if you know what I mean. Bit of a chicken and egg um, example. I'm going to curl my eyelashes with the Kevin O'Quan um, lash curler. And I've only just started curling my ash lashes and... This is a real game changer for me. I never thought, because I have super curly eyelashes, naturally, let's get in there, look away for the squeamish. I never thought that I would ever need to actually curl my eyelashes because they are really, really curly, but and they're long, but they look short because they're so curly. Anybody else with curly lashes know what I mean? And since I've started curling them, they are, it just gives them a push at the bottom so it looks like I'm wearing mascara and I really don't like I like wearing mascara when I when I do put it on but it's not my favorite thing to do because it's I don't like taking it off um but since doing this uh, I don't have to wear mascara anymore well I do wear it but it makes such a big difference I don't know if you can tell the difference there but my eyelashes curled it just looks like I've got natural naturally long uplifted lashes and this seems to last all day i did do that thing because i'm like a bit of a novice with this still i did do that thing where i heated it up and um i left and i did it for like 10 seconds 20 seconds on a hair dryer and it got bloody hot straight away so if you are going to heat it up it's like a quick waft with a hair dryer and then use it because it's really it, these get super hot very quickly i know they're metal and i should think that but it really it was really 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 hot um i'm gonna spray my face now with the elf stay all night spray this is the best um spray that i've used to keep makeup on like the best it really does stay for the longest compared to all the other expensive ones i've tried it really locks makeup in and my makeup stays all day all night so and it's only i think 11 pounds or nine pounds or 11 pounds i got mine from asos so if you're looking for a fixing spray that actually works this elf one is i think i think is probably one of the best out there and it doesn't make your skin look too dull or too shiny it dries down quite nicely it's not tacky um usually when i spray i always kind of get my foundation brush and just dab all over like I said, I'm only taking my son to tennis, so I'm not doing anything kind of wild. Right. I'm going to finish off with my eyebrows. I'm just using, I'm waiting for, I bought something from TikTok, um, an eyebrow kind of waxy soap brow, <coughs> excuse me, soap brow thing. 
and um, I'm waiting for that to come. So in the meantime, I'm using this BFF one from the Beauty Crop, but it's one that I got in one of the, those one of those boxes, um, subscription boxes, and it's fine. It's just like a gel, really. It just hardens and stays in place. It's nothing really special, but I just like it because it's got a small spoolie. Um, it's probably very similar to something like Boy Brow, and I dyed my eyebrows about a week ago, maybe three or four days ago, and so I don't need to put any colour through it. Although when I dye my eyebrows, and I'm pretty sure it's because of my products that I do use on my face, they they lighten very quickly still, which is a bit annoying. So I will probably dye them again sooner than they recommend, but they just it doesn't seem to stick. And I use the Eyelure one, but I think it is just literally because I use retinols and other things that like um, acids and things that it just strips the dye out of my face a lot faster. And then finally, to finish it up, what else? So to finish it up, I'm just going to do my lips. And I've bought this Refry Lip Gloss. No, I'm not going to put lip colour on today. I'm just going to use this Refry Lip Gloss, just because, and it is literally just because I'm taking my son to tennis. And I really like this. It's got a metal tip and it's really cooling on the lips smell though i don't know what it is it smells a bit unusual but it does it does go away so you can't smell it too bad too badly on your lips but it is a bit unusual so this is my face to go and take my son to tell us i'll just do saturday errands we've got some friends coming over this evening and um yeah i'm really still really pumped for 2023 it's gonna be a really good one we've had some just like absolute wins in january that we really needed and it's gonna set us up for success in 2023 and for the rest of the year i'm sure and yeah let me know how your 2023 is going down below let me know how whether it's going well or if it's not going so well maybe somebody can give you a word of advice or some encouragement below let's encourage each other and yeah i look forward to seeing you in my next video take care love you lots